Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm working on harvesting the rest of the produce I have out in our vegetable garden and then on a few squash plants that I have tucked into flower beds on the west side of our house and then there's a couple in the back formal garden. Um, it's been pretty cold like we've been right down at freezing and just under but only for a handful of nights but it looks like tomorrow the high for tomorrow is only 52 and then the lows for the evening is mid 20s and then it looks like it's going to stay that way so I feel like it's kind of now or never if I want to get my tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that off of the plants I need to do it today um, so anyway I thought I'd just take you guys along for the process now it has been kind of breezy so I'm not sure if I'm going to stop between all the areas and like talk about the area or not if the wind kicks back up I'll just set the camera camera up and show you where I'm harvesting and then in the end we'll take a look at the whole spread like I want to spread it all out and we'll just see what I've been left with at this point of the year I mean we're getting into like the middle part of October and we've still been harvesting strawberries and tomatoes and peppers and beans and all kinds of stuff so it's been a really good year I think I'm going to start on the west side with the squash plants but I do need to go grab a cart and clippers and gloves etc I want this So over here on the west side where we just started this brand new garden, I had a bunch of open space and I love to tuck squash and pumpkins in where I've got space to fill because they just take up so much space and they're really pretty when they're in season. Like right now, looking a little sad because of the cold. But anyway, this is where I'm gonna work on harvesting. So here, and then there's a bunch over in the corner, uh, most of which were planted from seed July the 1st. So we'll see what I get. the squash grew underneath the fence so I'm gonna have to hop over to grab these. Fairly decent haul over here for planting that late. I'm pretty happy with it. Back in the formal garden now and the acorn squash are in that corner. Whew. Doesn't look like they fared the frost very well. I've already harvested several of these to use up in our decorating, so I've just got a handful left. tackle the vegetable garden next, starting with the peppers. Wow, I am super happy with this bell pepper harvest. That was off of three plants. And I have been harvesting throughout the season, so this is just like crazy, the amount that are still on the vines. So I still have a hot and heavy pepper here, I need to harvest and a jalapeno. Next up are the tomatoes. I've got a handful of cherry tomatoes in here, which we'll probably just eat tonight. And then I've got garden treasure in this bed. Check out the size of this tomato, it's enormous. And this one will ripen with no problem on our kitchen counter. The rest of this plant is loaded with green tomatoes, which I'll take a few in to let ripen. I'm pretty happy with that. Now cantaloupe. It's been 
such a wonderful afternoon out here. This is one of my favorite things to do is either make bouquets or harvest stuff. Just pull stuff from the garden. It just is such a satisfying feeling. So far, I have been the most impressed with the bell peppers. Um, the last two things I want to get out of this space today are any green beans I can find and some strawberries. And I get to put them in these really fun containers that I bought at an antique store not long ago. Close up real quick on the strawberries. These are called Buried Treasure Red. These are from Proven Winners and they are prolific. They have been bearing like crazy all season long and I'm really surprised that Benjamin doesn't have these plants cleaned up. He knows where all the strawberry plants are, where the grapes are, and so I don't expect to get very many strawberries out of this little area today. <music> have had better berry harvests than that before, but these are just gonna go to Benjamin anyway. He'll be so excited. Last up are the Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans. Kept these pretty clean. There are some that are a little bit uh, far gone, but there are some really nice ones still, so we'll see what I can find. my cart all loaded up but before we take it over to where I put the squash I just wanted to show you this alyssum because this impresses me look at that plant that is an alyssum skirt if I have ever seen one I can't see a single alyssum leaf just blooms and a couple of Bordeaux who have like fought their way through it look at this this is one four inch white knight alyssum right there it's been in this container since the first part of April. All right, so here it all is. I'll start with the squash. <laughs> There's a whole pile of them. Some of them are ripe and some of them aren't. Like, you know, the butternuts that have the really nice color. They're such a weird shape though. Like, what made them all squat like this? Isn't that the weirdest thing? But those are ready. These clearly did not ripen in time. And you know, they may or may not um, you know, ripen on their own. But either way, I can use them for decorating even if we, you know, don't end up being able to eat them. I grew a couple of specialty, let me move this, a couple of specialty squash, like this one's called a uh, Pippian from Tuxpan <laughs> squash. I got this one from Baker Creek Seeds. This is the only one that actually amounted to anything. The rest of them are <laughs> like little, little guys. Uh, and that's what you get for planting on July the 8th. Uh, these were called Kojiju, K-O-G-I-G-U squash. They're supposed to be like pretty big, like maybe a foot across. Um, so they clearly didn't ripen and like this bottom part should be about as big as the squash is, like it widens out. Um, but it was kind of interesting to grow them anyway. Autumn acorn blend are beautiful. And I think I've got like maybe six or eight of them up in our front area, you know, our front porch area that I just decorated. Uh, one white acorn squash. <laughs> Look at how cute. And then I don't even know what this is. I'm not sure. I don't remember planting that. <laughs> it's a mystery. Also, I did use a couple of butternut squash I just left on the vine. Like these two are on the same vine and this one's on a vine. I used those in this flower arrangement just for fun. Uh, blue Hubbard squash. Two of them did something and two of them are just smaller. And then I already harvested these the other day. Um, I got 24, I think it was, 24 of these baby bears on one pumpkin plant. And this one didn't vine out like the others do. This one stayed really compact. So if you have a small area that you wanna grow these little type of pumpkins, um, baby bear is the variety you wanna look for. And then I also grew this, which also, I wonder, maybe, no. I need to label everything a heck of a lot better than I did this year. Popsicle sticks are not doing it. And then here's the basket or the cart from my vegetable garden. So bell pepper harvest was pretty amazing. A couple of them I'm gonna use like tonight, we're having a uh, three pepper beef over rice. <laughs> so I'm gonna use some of these that are a little bit damaged and just cut off the good parts. And then these will keep for a lot longer. I've got the hot and heavy peppers, which are these little more round ones. And they're supposed to be a hot pepper, but they're not hot like a jalapeno is. And I've got jalapenos in varying stages. You can see this one's turning color because it got too cold. It was on the upper part of the plant. The red ones are really ripe. And then there's like some in between. Green beans, I got three of these little containers. So there's one, 
two and three, that's pretty good. Cantaloupe, I got about three that might ripen. These, I don't know, they're all cracked and weird. I'm gonna cut them open and see anyway, but I'm gonna give them like probably a week. Then I've got my little container of strawberries for Benjamin and then just a few tomatoes, a few of which are ripe. Like these are the garden gem tomatoes. Um, and then I'll let the green ones ripen inside in a paper bag. Yeah. So I'm trying to think and it seems like we're getting cloudier. Are we supposed to get a storm? I don't know. Um, I, the only thing I can think of that I have left out in the garden are my parsnips, which I'm going to leave in the ground. I'm going to harvest a few of them probably next month just to see what the flavor is like because it's the cold that makes the sugars intensify. Um, and so, you know, if they go through a few heavy frosts, maybe it'll happen. Maybe I'll wait until next February and harvest. I don't know. That's a total experiment for me. Um, what else in there? Everything else is fairly tender, like the dahlias that I have planted. I'll be lifting those tubers here pretty quick. Zinnias, I'm going to be harvesting seeds off those, and I think we'll do a video about that. I'm looking out there to see if I forgot anything. The basil will have to come out. Um, other than that, the only thing I'm going to be doing in the garden space this fall is planting garlic. I still haven't done that yet. And then just general cleanup. I like to put a nice layer of um, compost on the top of the soil. Um, and you know, I use the Espoma Biotone when I plant all of my crops. And then I use Garden Tone like mid-season during their growth cycle and it gives them another little boost. Um, but as far as fall stuff, I just put a compost layer on the top. It makes them all look nice. And then I know that soil, that compost will work its way down into the soil mix I currently have. So anyway, that is it for this video. I'm super happy to have had a chance to have, have a little window of time. Like I think Benjamin is still napping to come out here and get this all done. Uh, it just feels good that I didn't waste it. You know, this time of year, it's hard because sometimes you get busy and you can't get out and get all of the stuff out of your garden space. And that's fine. That's what happens some years, but it's always fun to come like get a big collection of stuff right at the end. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Do you see some beans? Look, baby. Would you like some strawberries? Uh, <laughs> you want me to get the top off for you? No, here. Mmm, <laughs> here you go, sweetie. What's it? Is that yummy? Mmm. Mm. Yeah? Mmm. Mmm, there you go. <laughs> all gone. All gone. You ate them all gone, baby. Mmm, mm, I know. Maybe we'll get some more. It's a cantaloupe, sweetie. heavy. <laughs> oh, you're going to kick it? <laughs> you're going to kick it back over here? You're going to eat it? Those are beans. <laughs> are you getting it? Is it kind of tough? Ooh, <laughs> thank you. We'll cook these up, okay?